Welcome to your video by DJS BRC. I wanted to make this video because I'm getting this question asked a lot. Um, what should I do for my batteries when I'm not using them? I do have an assortment in front of me right now. Uh, the latest one on the market right now would be the Spectrum uh, Smart Battery. What I do love about the Spectrum Smart Batteries they do have a chip inside. Now, these are version one. There is a version two. The version two doesn't have any balancing lead out. Uh, that's how you know the difference between both. Unfortunately, I don't have one with me right now. Um, but they do have a chip built in. And what that chip does is from the manufacturer, Point when they build a battery they program the chip to go to auto storage after 72 hours basically you fully charge it you put it on your shelf and you forget about it kind of I say in 72 hours she's slowly gonna go downhill discharging herself now it won't take an hour or two hours. It might take a couple of days. I never really calculated the, the amount of time it takes, but I would say a minimum of a couple of days. Simple reason, it's a small chip uh, and it slowly discharge itself. If it would start discharging itself at a higher rate, that battery was, would overheat itself. Basically discharging is creating heat. It's using the battery. Um, there's a couple of ways you can program it. You can program these batteries with the a charger, one of the uh, smart chargers. Uh, I have a 1200 and 1100. I can do it with it. Or you can use the LiPo, uh, but LiPo Spectrum Smart uh, Tester. This tester, I do have a video on this guy here. It does multiple things. You can test your cells directly by the balancing port or even with the main power. Now in the main power of the smart batteries, you'll have the middle pin. This is what the third wire in the middle, might be hard to see here, but the, this little gray wire talks to the chip and talks to any uh, smart batteries or smart ESC things like that you can program the chip saying okay i want you to store yourself starting 24 hours or charge your put yourself in storage mode in 195 hours so on and so on it's you decide but let's say you don't have uh, a smart charger or these smart batteries right here and you have like a gen ace this is my six cell 3800 or you have a four cell 5000 Gen Ace, or even let's say these are a little bit older batteries, Onyx 5400, three cell. Or if I go in my older batteries that I have, these batteries here that I have from Great Hobbies, uh, these are the Gen 3, all my Gen 1s and Gen 2, they're basically gone, they're dead. Uh, this is a Gen 3 5099C. This is what I run normally in my SCTE. Um, but this guy here is slowly dying. It's starting to be puffed up on the sides here. It's not flat anymore. It is bubble. That's telling me that the cells are dying. They're getting swelled up and having swelled up batteries a lot of bad stuff could happen me personally when my battery is not round or stock let's say stock size like it should be out of the box i stop using them this i'm probably going to retire this year may not use it again we'll see but this is a 4500 six cell perfect shape still runs great I uh, can't complain for a Gen 3. don't have the date on this one. That means this is probably the first generation of the Gen 3. Uh, 
let's say second gen 3 second generation we had the dates on the side i don't have the dates but again these batteries there's multiple tester you can use to test uh this is just a basic one here this is kind of a basic that you plug in any type of batteries and gives you a usb out let's say you're in the field somewhere yeah my phone's dead i need to charge my phone you can use basically uh any lipo to it and be able to plug it in for some reason i'm not able to or give me a three cell 11.8 now it will cycle between the cells but right now here i have a uh, five volt output now if you give it like a two uh, one cell it won't give you that voltage and i have another generation here of lipo checker with lipo alarm what's fun about this guy here it gives you audible alarm let's say you have a, a plane or a vehicle doesn't have lipo cutoff this is awesome you can program it saying at 3.5 i want you to start beeping or at 3.9 there is a button in the middle here 2.9 3.0 3.10 and so on so on going up until even the point you can turn it off but it turns back itself on but it gives you the cycle of your cell too at the same time and like i said if your battery drops in voltage to the point you set it up it will alarm itself or alarm you and the pitch is pretty much high this is one of the parts that is fun you can check your cells but should you store your lipo fully charged should you after you finish using them just leave them yes and no what i like to do is at least put them in storage mode go in my charger put them in storage mode now there's a lot of chargers pretty much any computerized charger will do uh, lipo storage if you have one put your batteries in storage now if you store your batteries for winter you're not going to use it for a couple of months it's not you put it in storage mode and forget about it same thing for these guys here the smart ones put them on storage mode and i would say at least once a month three weeks to once a month i'll put them back on the charger and hit storage the battery will deplete itself it will discharge itself even if it doesn't have a chip that's just the nature of the beast that way if it did drop the charger will bring it back up and my battery will say optimum for depending how is life cycle because uh, there's no specific duration of life on the battery depending on how many times you use it things like that and how you take care of it now but let's say you have multiple batteries and they're 4500 like this guy here or even the 5000s here for a cell if you put them on a normal charger to discharge them it will take a while because the dischargers in built-in chargers are slow uh they'll do maybe 0.5 amps to maybe an amp some will do even two amps there is product out there you can buy to discharge faster i do have an isd well isdt uh fd 100 here uh basically this guy here will do up to five amps from recording six amps to discharge a battery you plug your battery in and tell it what kind of battery you have let's say it's a 4s you click 4s and you'll tell it what kind of discharge rate you want and then it will start itself basically what it does it has a heating coil inside that just discharges the battery faster and there's a fan to cool it at the same time you could use it, it has a small heater it does get fairly warm like if you just got yourself a cup of coffee uh, this will help to discharge your battery faster i do have a video on this guy here there is bigger models of these guys and like i said there is bigger models of charger that will do faster but they're mostly rare 
you'll pay a lot more money. And the other question I get asked a lot, LiPo bags. I do have a couple here. I store my batteries in the LiPo bag when I'm not using them. When I'm charging them, I'm always keeping an eye on them. I don't go to bed. I don't go outside. I stay around my batteries. If I see my battery changes forms when I'm charging it, first thing I grab it, throw it outside. I don't want my house to be on fire, things like that. Uh, and I always examine my batteries to make sure what they look like. I mean, these guys here, you see the individual cells. Cell one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing with this guy here. If you see one of the cells doesn't look the same, I suggest stop using it. Some people say, no, 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 keep on using, you're fine. Me personally, I don't use them anymore once they're not in the same shape that I bought them with. But in a nutshell, this is pretty much what you do with your batteries when you're not using them. I store them in a LiPo bag. I make sure they're in storage mode. After three weeks, they're in storage mode. I put them back on the charger to make sure they are on storage still. Same thing for the smart one. Or I use one of my checkers and I just check my voltage. Uh, I try to keep them pretty much at 3.8 per cell when I'm in storage mode. If you guys have any questions or comment, post down them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. And thank you for watching.